Welcome back to Photoshop Simplified, everyone. So we've covered all the steps that I go through to edit an image. Let's run through the entire process on this image of the Milky Way. When editing a nighttime shot, the first thing I do is my lens profile correction because it's going to take away some of the vignetting around the edges and bring in some noise. So let's remove the chromatic aberrations and enable profile corrections. As you can see, we got a lot of noise where it lightened up around the edges and took away the vignetting. Let's bring a little bit of vignetting back into the image. The next thing I'm going to do is fix the perspective using Guided Upright. So we go to the Guided Upright tool. Let's draw two vertical lines. I'm going to use the chimneys. And that looks pretty good, but let's fix the horizontal. And we'll just run across the front of the building. Alright, then we'll use the scale to get rid of some of those edges that are going to be cropped out. Next, I'm going to go into the crop tool by right clicking, setting it 2 to 3, which is photo ratio. Let's just get rid of the edges here. Hit enter to apply the crop. And we have these couple planes flying through the exposure, so let's get rid of those. We'll zoom in on them. This looks like a meteor or a satellite back here, so I'm just going to leave that. Let's go to spot removal. And we're removing something sharp like this line. We're going to want to have the feather set pretty low, so I have it at 10. Let me just click and drag. One more time. I have a little issue here, so let's make the brush bigger using the bracket keys. And that cleaned up the sky pretty well, so back to the zoom tool. And let's go over to our basic panel. And zoom out, right click, fit and view. The first basic adjustment I'm going to make is pulling up the shadows. You'll see that fill in the foreground. And let's pull back the highlights just a little bit from where I was lighting the building in there. Let's go ahead and set our white point. We'll press Alt and then click and drag until we start seeing areas that are blown out. And then set the black point, click and drag to the left until we start seeing areas that are becoming too underexposed. Let's add some clarity and some vibrance. I think the camera white balance is pretty good, but let's just try the others just to be sure. It's going to be auto, which is pretty good as well. And tungsten's a little too cool, obviously, but we can pull the temperature up on that. I think the auto is probably the best. Let's do a little bit of noise reduction here in Camera Raw. Not much. We'll save the rest for Define. We'll bring that up to 15. Get rid of a little bit of color noise. And I think we have a pretty good Camera Raw edit right there. So that's before and after. Let's open up the image into Photoshop. First thing I'm going to do is add a Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer. Let's go ahead and remove some of the magentas from the building. Then let's darken up the magentas. I like the sky to have a little bit of a cooler look, so I'm going to add a photo filter. Let's select a cooling filter. I like what it did to the sky, but I like the building to be a little warmer. So let's go ahead and activate the layer mask. Select the brush tool. and then we'll mask out the foreground. Let's bring this hardness back down. Switch over to white and then blend the edges back in. And for a true edit, I would probably be a little more cautious while doing this just for the sake of time, we're going to make this go quick. 
windows back in. There we go. Let's turn the opacity down just a little bit. And that looks pretty good. So let's add a levels adjustment. We'll just pull our black point over, adding a little more blacks to the image. And pull the white points over, adding some whites. We don't want to go too far because we'll start seeing them blow out, especially around where we lit the windows. It's probably about right in there. And we can always activate the layer mask and mask out some of the areas that got too dark or too bright. That added some nice contrast to the sky, brought out the Milky Way pretty well. So let's go ahead and merge all these together using Control Shift B. Let's duplicate the background layer using Control J. And now we'll select the Dodge tool. We have highlights selected, exposure at 15%. Let's pull out this Milky Way a little more. And we want to overdo it just a little bit so we can see exactly what it is we're doing. When we're finished, we'll take the opacity down some. Now we can also do a little bit of burning. Let's go ahead and merge these layers together using Control Shift B, and then duplicate the layer using Control J. Now I'm going to switch over to the burn tool. And we have it at shadows and 15% as well. Let's just click around a little bit. Not so much dragging with this, but more moving around to different parts of the image and clicking just to darken that area. We just want to make slight differences that improve the image but isn't really noticeable. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and merge those layers. Control Shift E. And let's create another duplicate layer. Control J. Now we use the sponge tool. We have it set to saturate, close at 50. This will plot a little bit of color in the Milky Way. So you can see it makes a pretty big difference. So let's take the opacity down. Around 50% is good. And that looks pretty good, so let's merge those layers together. Control Shift E. Let's do a sharpening of the image. And we'll duplicate the layer, Control J. We'll use the high pass filter sharpening. So we go filter, other, high pass, radius set to 10, click OK. And then we go over to the layers panel, and change the blending mode to overlay. And as we can see, that really sharpened up the image, but it's going to bring too much noise into the sky. So let's add a layer mask to the layer. And then using the brush tool, mask away parts of the sky. So now we have a really nice sharp foreground, but again, it's probably a little overdone. So let's turn the opacity down. We'll go to about 57 for this. So let's go ahead and merge the layers. And then let's take the noise out. So we'll go to Filter, Nick Collection, Define 2. And then let's just expand the samplers. Make sure we have them spread into different areas to represent different parts of the image. And as you can see on the right, it's done a really good job taking the noise out of the image. So let's zoom in. As you can see, we've lost quite a bit of detail still as it tried to remove so much noise. So let's just take the opacity down and bring some of that detail back in. So one last thing when we were doing some of the spot removal, I can see we had some issues right over here. So let's zoom in and take care of this. Let's merge our layers, Control Shift E. And let's make a duplicate layer and we'll work on that. We'll just get the patch tool, draw a selection around the bad part of the sky, drag it over to a better part, release. Let's just do the same thing over here. So 
there we have it from start to finish on a milky way photo in about ten minutes.